It's a great classic prison camp movie from the wonderful French director and uber famous and very influential Jean Renoir. It is The Grand Illusion. Let's take a look at why I think this movie is great and give you a few pointers on watching the movie, what it might be about coming up next. So here is Grand Illusion. It's a World War I prison camp movie. And this particular Blu-ray, I think, is the one to get from Lionsgate. It looks absolutely crisp and amazing. Don't watch a DVD version. Get the high-definition version and put it on a big screen. It looks amazing. Grand Illusion is set, as I said, in World War I. However, this movie is made in 1937, where, and the director didn't know this. They could have had a hint at it coming on the cusp of World War II, and this movie would influence all kinds of war movies afterwards, World War II movies, Vietnam movies, and so on. And so for us today, in the year 2021 for me, this watches like a World War II movie. In fact, it sometimes slips in my mind that this is not World War II, but World War I, because there's so many tropes, so many scenes that show up in World War II movies. The basics of the movie, these French officers are captured by Germans, they're put into a prison camp, and then there are three or four major sections of the movie, different scenes, as the characters, one, try to escape the prison camp, then they're put into a castle, which seems impossible to escape, and then, a bit of a spoiler alert, although you know this is going to happen anyway, they do try to escape the castle. And because, as I said, this movie is so influential, you get a lot of standard scenes in this movie, that don't seem unique, but are, and this movie being the granddaddy of, say, The Great Escape, for example, or other kinds of prison camp movies, check out my video on that. Or movies like The Shawshank Redemption, regular prison movies. For example, you get the scene of the characters dumping dirt secretly out of their coats into some kind of courtyard or outdoors area. That scene comes up a lot in movies. In fact, there's a number of scenes like the opening one in which the officer is listening to an opera on a record. That one reminds me of Shawshank Redemption when Andy Dufresne listens to a record. And you'll find this movie is the genesis of quotations for all kinds of prison camp movies as you watch it. The director Renoir is always, for example, in his Rules of the Game, a very famous movie, interested in class and class divisions. A number of them come up in this movie, and they're not always obvious, I think, to us as viewers. One of them, though, clearly is the French versus the Germans. That's obvious, the prisoners and those who imprison them. But then amongst the French, there's different levels as well. There's obviously a Jewish banker type in this movie versus the regular Frenchman. And that becomes very important later in the movie to see a wealthier Jewish man versus a re more regular French officer and how they interact. That's going to be important to the messaging of the movie and what happens near the end of the movie. And it's worth thinking about in 1937 when the Nazis are out there and Renoir is, is, you know, thinking about them, I think, in this movie, in this depiction of the Germans, how much do the French and the Germans, should, how much do they share in common? How much do they get along? How do the Germans treat the French, treat, treat the Jewish Frenchmen, and so on? And then, you know, this movie is very potent. Once you start to think about what happens in the next eight years, this is 1937, the eight years after it, it's really amazing how much this movie... You know, gives meaning to that sort of that time period and the war that was to happen. Obviously, the German occupation of France. This movie seems to even predict that or talk about that presciently, and it's really amazing how it does that. One key thing to me about this movie is the title. I always encourage you to think about titles, even though if they seem like they're meaningless or throwaway things. And what does the title Grand Illusion refer to in this movie? One of the ideas is that maybe the war will be short, and it turns out that it's not, obviously. World War I not being short at all, although everyone wished it were over and thought it might be over very soon. That is one sort of illusion that happens, and the, you know, the movie goes on and on, and the prison camp goes on and on, unfortunately for these Frenchmen in particular. Another illusion may be that escape is possible, even though they try and try and try, they're thwarted and they're stopped at many turns, as it usually is in these kinds of prison camp escape movies. But I think a key element 
of this title, The Grand Illusion, is that civilization, high European civilization, with all, with all its great finery, cooking, its mannerisms, manners, and so-called duties, those are illusions in a wartime setting. The prison camp being a place where they're recreated. The soldiers are always doing sort of simulations of normal life and normal French civilization, let's say. But these simulations are not real, obviously, and even fraudulent and even delusions or illusions on their part. It may be that the movie is talking about World War One or war, huge modern wars in general, as generating negative illusions on the part of everyone participating in them. The men have fantasies in the prison, they act out fantasies, but in the end, the prison camp is one heck of a nasty place because obviously if you try to escape, you're gonna get killed. And even if the Germans are acting classy to you and you act classy to them, there's ultimately hostility at the base of that relationship and they will just shoot you if they must or have to. That's basically the opposite of civilization or high civilization in my opinion. And that's basically part of the illusion in this movie itself, the illusion that civilization can continue on as it was in a prison camp or after the war. This theme continues on when, and I'll give a little bit of a spoiler here, those of you who have seen the movie will know this, you know that when the two characters escape the castle, where do they go? They go to the house of a German woman in the countryside, and for a while they live the life uh, of a bourgeois or, or normal ex family existence. They simulate Christmas. They all, One of them almost becomes the husband and a sort of stepfather to a young boy. But that itself as well is an illusion for these two characters who must move on and who are being hunted down. And if they were found, they would be killed. And I think one of the amazing things about this movie is the ending, which the two characters go into Switzerland. And in 1937, if you think about this, that actually is a very good piece of advice this movie is giving people at that very moment. Get out of Germany, maybe get out of France, and go to a neutral country like Switzerland where you will be safe, including the Jewish banker who goes into Switzerland. Now, I know this is a World War I movie. It's trying to depict history, but it also may be some kind of message to people to get the heck out of a war, possible war zone. So that's really remarkable to me because in just a couple years after this movie, France is going to be invaded by Germany. Now, I've talked about this movie thematically, some of its ideology. I think this movie is exceptionally well made. The French actors in this, in fact, all the actors are wonderful. I love them all. You see them in all kinds of French movies. And this movie, Renoir, is obviously a great director, great use of the camera, uh, a moving camera, an active camera that that is a wanderer and a participant in the prison camp. So I really respect that as well. And I'll say it one more time, this Blu-ray is crisp and excellent. So if you can find it, get it or rent it, and hopefully you can find the HD version online. What do you think about The Grand Illusion? Let us know in the comments. Love to hear what you think about the video. Please subscribe to the channel for more great content. Thank you, have a great day.